Hey, Tom at DSC Sport here. Today we're going to do a demonstration on our DSC Sport launch control activation. Before we get to the demo, let's do an overview on a DSC Sport launch control. Many newer cars have factory launch control. Typically, the factory launch controls manipulate the throttle and apply the rear brake in order to reduce tire spin during launch. How the DSC Sport launch control is different, when activated, the DSC Sport launch control presets the dampers to optimize the launch before the tire spin occurs. Using this visual aid to show what happens during a launch, the back of the car squats while the front of the car lifts. With DSC Sport Launch Control, we command the rear shock compression to be very soft to improve weight distribution for the rear tires. And at the same time, DSC Sport commands the front shocks to stiffen up the rebound to prevent overloading of the rear tires. Another great feature of the DSC Launch Control is that it allows the users to set their own personal preferences for the beginning of the launch and for the end of the launch. All the parameters in the launch control is fully adjustable by the user. After the launching process, which is set by the timer in the threshold box, this is set in milliseconds, DSC will then go back to its active commands for the high speed stability that DSC Sport is well known for. The launch control timer can be set between 1000 to 2000 milliseconds. A typical 60 foot time for launch is between 1500 to 1800 milliseconds. I'm very excited about the DSC Sport Launch Control. To share a little story, before I got into road racing, I was very much into drag racing. One of the best mods I did when I was drag racing my Camaro was to put drag racing shocks on it. The drag shocks made an immediate improvement on a 60 foot times, but there was a little bit of a compromise for high speed stability. The ideal shock settings for the launch is not the most ideal for halfway down the drag strip or three quarter way down the drag strip. With DSC Sport Launch Control, you can have the best of both settings with no compromise. DSC Sport Launch Control is an excellent feature for drag racing, autocross launches, and road racing with standing starts. Imagine gaining a half a car length to the first corner in a sprint race. This can definitely change the outcome of a race. Also great for high horsepower cars, getting a good launch to optimize the zero to 60, zero to 100 times. Now that we went through the overview, it is time to do the demo on a DSC Sport Launch Control activation. The car we are using to do the demo is a Porsche 997 Gen 2. It is significant to use this car because for the first time we are offering launch control as an option for 997 Gen 2 and for 997 Turbos. Even though this is a Porsche, the activation is the same for all other cars. The car must be at a complete stop. Hold the brake pedal firm. While the brake pedal is being held firm, give the gas pedal a quick stab. The stab should be so quick that it will occur before the engine RPM catches up. For cars with manual transmission, hold the clutch pedal in instead of the brake pedal. The LED flashing indicates that the DSC Sport Launch Control is activated. DSC Sport Launch Control works great with OEM shocks and works even better with tractive shocks. DSC Sport Launch Control is available for C7 Corvette, Gen 6 Camaro, Ford GT350, Ford Focus RS, SRT Gen 5 Viper, Nissan R35 GTR, Porsche 997 Turbo, 997 Turbo S, 997 Gen 2, 987 Gen 2, 991, 981, and 718. 